Hey there guys, how's it going? It's Afraid Not and we are back on the battlefield now. It's been a little while since I posted a Battlefield 4 gameplay. I think it was, the, well the last upload I uploaded that was Battlefield 4 was probably a gun review and I remember doing that series. I think I stopped it in about January. I don't really know why, I think I just sort of fell out of love with Battlefield 4 and uh, I, I just, you know, it's a broken game, we all know that and I don't know why but I've just been playing it non-stop, especially on the Xbox One at the moment. I have got it on PC but I've been playing a lot on the Xbox One. And that's not to say that I like the Xbox One any better than any other console. So it's just the fact that playing with friends, I really do miss it. I love my PS4, I really do, and I love playing gaming. I love the experience that you get on PS4, but nothing beats playing with your friends. And I've got about four or five buddies that I play with all the time, Battlefield 4, and we just have an absolute blast. I mean, it's frustrating at times. It's still quite a frustrating game, and you still get quite a lot of rubber banding and lag issues. But it's, it is really enjoyable, especially at the moment. As I say, it's, it, anything's better with friends. I think we all can agree that. Anyway, sorry guys, I haven't uploaded in a little while. I've just been mega busy. Work has really picked up. I've I've just been non-stop at work and uh, I just haven't really had time to think of different topics and uh, and just really generally have time been a lot of time spending a lot of time at home at the moment with the family um, it's just it really is just completely manic at the moment my little one he's going really well he had his jabs earlier in the week like his, I think his final set of like little injections that um, obviously babies get and he didn't really take it too well so he's been a little bit of a poorly boy um, yeah so it's you know family life unfortunately does take priority over YouTube and I've just I don't wait to upload this video to be honest I mean it's been a little while I think it's been since like, I think my last upload was Thursday last week so I mean that could be even a week ago wow but yeah in this video as you can see in the background I'm playing some Dragon's Teeth DLC I think that's what it's called correct me if I'm wrong but I'm sure it's called Dragon's Teeth and I think so far it's my favourite DLC on Battlefield 4 I don't think it's open to the public yet which is a bit of a shame because not all of my friends have actually got premium so I mean they're thinking about getting this map pack so it would be good to jump on it with them but I've been playing solo quite a lot and I've been playing the new game mode called Chainlink I think it is and I'll be showing you a little bit of that later on in the video in the background and it's a really really good fun game mode it's really fast paced it's a good spin it's like a domination conquest game mode and basically how you would really get points is it works the same way I think in points but to put a really good spin on it if you catch A and then to B you I think you get another point for doing that or something it's, I don't really understand it but it is a hell of a lot of fun and I've been doing all the different game modes and using different guns I don't know if you saw in that last clip I'll be using a lot of that magnum pistol I think it was one of the DLC guns um, but I've been getting really in involved in the challenges and things like that which I knew that always knew they were there but when a game kind of rubs off on you and you're doing the same thing and all you're trying to do is win 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 and, and you get a little bit bored of it you start I mean me personally I start dipping into all the challenges and doing all the different things I could get and I thought ah oh, and they brought out the Desert Eagle and I was just like I have to have that gun and that was a nightmare of a challenge because you had to do I think 20 headshots with this Magnum type gun and it was so difficult and uh, but I managed to get there you'll see in this gameplay that I am actually rocking the Deagle at the moment. There was another challenge for playing chain link and you had to get a certain amount of links as well so that's another reason why I'm bringing you a, a chain link gameplay. This map in particular that you can see in the background reminds me a lot of Flood Zone just without the water. It's very very, oh, well, it's like loads of buildings. Unfortunately there's a lot of camping spots and I do find I think with the DLC maps that you find a lot of campers. Now I don't know if that's really uh, probably the right thing to say. It's probably the better players. I mean, all the better players about Battlefield 4 are generally going to get the DLC. So you're playing against a lot better, like, a lot better people. They'll be in there. They'll be taking up power positions and things like that. And it just seems like they're camping on you when really they're not. Sometimes I do play a little bit more defensive, especially when I'm playing DLC. So and one thing I particularly like about this game mode, Chain Link, is that there's no vehicles. Now I don't know if you guys are really up to the scratch, but I just hate vehicles in any multiplayer shoot. I've said it before in a video, and I just feel like with Battlefield, it's absolutely no different. And and, uh, especially with the Destiny game, I know a lot of people are posting gameplay of that at the moment. I haven't posted any, I did post some on the Alpha and my opinions really haven't changed that much. I might do a video maybe towards the end of the week about Destiny. And also I've got a key for The Crew, I don't know if any of you guys have heard about The Crew. It is a driving game and it's coming out I think on all platforms and I've got a beta key for the PC. Yeah, I haven't actually, pl I haven't played it at all yet. I'm going to be settling down I think on tomorrow night to really get stuck into it. I've watched a few live 
streams on the internet and it looks absolutely amazing and um, not graphically but just the gameplay itself just looks really good I love the fact that all these betas and alphas are all being thrown at us now I think the next one I'm kind of expecting is the FIFA one I don't know if that's gonna be next month though but um, yeah as gamers we should be really looking forward to this time of year I love it August especially it normally kicks off um, with the reveal of um, the Call of Duty multiplayer that normally what starts it off and uh, yeah I just cannot wait just to see what they've got to offer I'm not looking forward to the game let's say but I am looking forward to seeing what kind of different spin they're going to be putting on the multiplayer and uh, but yeah anyway this isn't a Call of Duty video we're talking about Battlefield so yeah I will be uploading a lot more I think at Battlefield 4 gameplay I've got loads backed up I've been playing a hell of a lot and uh, yeah, so I hope you guys do enjoy it. Um, as I said, I'm not going to change my channel from a COD channel into a Battlefield channel. It's not going to be like that at all. And I don't know if you guys picked up on my video on my second channel. I'll link it in the description just in case you missed it. I talked a little bit about how my channel is going to be going in the future. It will be PC gaming. I've got so much plans in the fact that I've got PC. And I always promise you these plans will never come through. But I guarantee by the end of the year, we're going to have uh, a totally, not new channel, but it's going to be, uh, it's going to take some adaptions. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, yes Dragon's Teeth is definitely worth the buy if you're in the market of buying a Battlefield 4 DLC then this is definitely the one to buy so yeah take care guys and I'll speak to you on the next one